is Isa from the UK. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. My question for today is, um, we know that the, that the dua of the oppressed is accepted. Does this mean that the oppressor has to live in a state of fear and carry the burden of any dua made against them as they oppress their person, even if the oppressor feels remorse, true remorse and has repented to Allah? If the oppressor repents to Allah Azza wa Jal, he has to clear his oppression with the victim. And this is clearly mentioned in the hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever transgresses and he has this transgression against his brother, he has to seek his forgiveness. Before the day of judgment, when there is no dirham or dinar, there is only good deeds and, and, and bad deeds. So you have to go to the pe person you transgressed against and ask him for forgiveness. If he forgives you, alhamdulillah. If he doesn't and he demands financial compensation, you have to do that so that you clear your conscience from such a sin that you've committed in the right of one of your Muslim brothers. If he doesn't accept, in this case, I pray that your remorse, alongside with your repentance and seeking Allah's forgiveness, would block any dua that he makes against you, inshallah, and Allah knows best.